Shalom. I want to begin this lesson giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Recha Kudash. Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, who this word only calls God. Yahweh Shah being the true name of our Lord and Savior, who this word only calls Jesus. Bahashem is in the name, Recha Kudash, is through the Holy Spirit, or according to the Paleo, uh, Paleo meaning ancient, in Hebrew. Okay, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well, and peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashma Shah. And Lord willing, it is an edifying lesson. And the water Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah for giving us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, pursuing the Isaiah, the 33rd chapter. In the sixth verse, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is going to keep us stable. And when all hell break loose, which all hell is going to break loose, all right, in the times that we are headed into, all right, but I just wanted to come uh, with this lesson, you know, because you think about, you know, the prosperous and the influential, okay, the wicked of our people, really the two-thirds of our people, even though they have a, a, a name and they have riches, you know, and they have praises, uh, from men and women in this world All right, you know the Heavenly Father is really gonna judge them less than those And I'm speaking about the judgment which they're about to receive All right, the judgment which they're about to receive in you know uh, The end of this place all right as far as the, the missiles all right the ICBM nuclear missiles All right, as well as the judgment Esau Edom you know, coming against them. Hey, even our people coming against them because that's what these celebrities don't realize, man. When all hell breaks loose and everybody, you know, it's going to be everybody for themselves. You know, a lot of them are going to be targets, but nevertheless, all right, they're going to get a lesser judgment than those that knew this word, all right? Those that came into this truth or they heard about this truth, all right, you got a family member, you know, constantly tell you about this truth. Men that put their hand on the plow are gonna receive a severe judgment, all right, than these niggas, <laughs> okay? You know, Michael B. Jordan, and I'm not gonna name all of them, but I'ma just go down the list, man. All right, fucking sodomite, <laughs> okay? And, and, you know, I just looked up icons or it's like not icons, but you know, the most influential so-called black people. And this is the name and this is the list that came up. All right. And the Lord has turned them fully cold. You see? And a revelation the third chapter goes into it, man. You know what? And let me grab it. Uh matter of fact, let's get it in a blue letter. Revelation chapter three. Okay, verse 16, or let's start at verse 15, and it reads, I know thy works. All right, so Yahweh Bashim al Shah, hey, he's instructing us to do the work. <laughs> All right, so again, the Lord would rather you be fully cold than you to be lukewarm. And it says, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold or hot all right so it's either you're going to be fully cold like the list that we just went <laughs> you know it's through the spirit brothers are speaking about that man uh, they the, the successful people the successful of our people the celebrities the rappers entertainers athletes hey the lord you know the lord has them cold okay they fully cold they fully persuaded in them being cold, okay? And then you have uh, Jake playing the fence, you know, being lukewarm. And that's one thing that the Heavenly Father hates, man, all right? And it says, verse 16, so then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. And that's the main reason that you see men fall out of this truth, all right? Because you know, them being lukewarm. All right. So the Heavenly Father, like the scripture says, or Yahweh Shah. All right. He says, 
and neither uh, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold or hot. So you're either going to be cold or you're going to be hot. All right. Ain't no in between. OK. Verse 17, because, oh, well, that's the point right there. All right. The Lord would rather you to be cold or you to be hot. So the two thirds of our people, again, those that are in the limelight are going to receive a lesser in a way judgment, even though we're all going to be Yasharala in the kingdom. All right, the scripture speaks about that everlasting shame and content. That goes with both. Okay. But again, we're going to get the scripture. Let's go to the book of Luke. Um, let's go to Luke, the 12th chapter. All right. It's the book of Luke, chapter 12. And um, Luke, chapter 12, verse 43. Over starting at verse 42 it's a little lengthy but bear with me and the lord said who is then that faithful and wise steward whom his lord shall make shall make ruler over his household to give him their portion in of meat in that due season all right so it's kind of symbolic unto that servant that hid his talent in a napkin all right because yahweh shah has given all right each elect member their portion, all right, their talent, okay, and that's the Lord's money, okay, and that's why it says how, hey, the Lord is going to make them ruler, all right, like this scripture is saying, so verse 43, blesses that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find, shall find so doing, verse 44, and of of a truth I say unto you that he will make him ruler over all that he had. See, the Lord is about to turn all right, his elect men or the elect, hopeful elect, into rulers. All right, that's why this wisdom and knowledge is much more than going out on the highways and byways and cursing out the so-called white man. All right, this knowledge is much more okay than calling yourself a king. Okay, calling yourself an Israelite. You know, it's really being it's really coming back all right unto the heavenly father and his only begotten son it's coming back unto your true nationality all right which means you're going to have a responsibility hey but like the beloved brother bahar says from the camp a lot of our jake despise this word because they don't want to take accountability all right and and have discipline okay and it's never going to happen until we get these new bodies but the scripture tells us to what to put therefore as on the elect roughly paraphrasing rehearsing the righteous acts and that's what we're doing to the best of our abilities all right and this is the book of luke chapter 12 verse 45 but and if that servant say in his heart hard meaning mind my lord delayed his coming and shall begin to beat the men's servants and the maidens and to eat and drink and to be drunken all right so again that's lukewarm you know being in the spirit of my lord delayed his coming Okay. In verse 46, the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him and at an hour when he is not aware. Right. And that's why you're going to either be you're going to either be hot or you're either going to be cold. And this wisdom and I was understanding in this ministry, man. All right. Because a man that's hot, a man is on fire. He's constantly, you know, in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Shah. All right, he's constantly doing the work. You know, he's constantly on point. He's constantly updated, man, on what's going on. All right? But a man that's the opposite, you know, a man that's the opposite, you know, he's, again, he's drunken. All right? He's drunk. Verse 47, verse 46, and the Lord of that servant will come in a day when when he looketh not for him, and at an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him in asunder, and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. Woo, you see? It says he will he will what? He will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers, right? And going back into this, you know, all these are unbelievers, okay? The so-called influential. Beyonce, Jay-Z, LeBron James. All right, they cold. They unbelieving. <laughs> They're unbelievers. So it's just to show you, 
you know, that being lukewarm, you know, it's a lot good. Yup. Forgive me. That's just to show you that being lukewarm is the worst thing that you can do in this ministry. Ultimately, you're going to get casted out anyways for being lukewarm. Because that's what the sec that's what the script, um, that's that uh, Syrac or Ecclesiasticus, the fourth chapter. You know, wisdom, she'll try you. All right. But over at the end, at the end of it, she will give you over to what your heart really wants. All right. And that's the same thing in this truth. OK, that's the same thing in this truth. So uh, to go back and there's a little bit more. This is the point. Verse 47. And that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes but he that knew not and did not commit many th many things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes for unto for unto whomsoever much is given of him shall be much required Ooh, you see so again those men that have came into this truth men that put their hand on the plow all right you know men again constantly hearing about the word but you know putting off the day of the lord putting off repentance and hey, they're gonna receive they're gonna receive many stripes man again to whomsoever much is given much is required all right so again that's the reason why you got to be on fire for this truth all right and hey, the lord can take the spirit upon you so i would constantly say that prayer in psalms the 50 the, the 51st chapter you know, Yahweh Basham Al Shah, hey, to never take his Holy Holy Spirit from off of us. That Rachakwadash. Alright. Not only that, but it's about to, all hell about to break loose in America. Whether these people want to say it or not, shit about to hit the fan. And we want protection. I don't know about the rest of these people out here, but I know the sincere brothers that's toiling and serving the Lord want protection. Alright. But um you know, Salakia so didn't mean to ramble, but that was just on my spirit, man. You know, <laughs> that a nigga like LeBron James, all the wickedness that he has done, for sure he's going to get his judgment. Hey, but uh, a man that's been in this ministry and being and, and was lukewarm and fell out, all right, hey, they're going to receive a far severe judgment, man. Okay? And what does it say in the book of... Ooh, it's the call I about my shot. What does it say in the book of Sirach, the second chapter? Sirach, chapter 2, and verse 14. It says, Woe unto you to have lost patience. And what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? You see, these niggas out here that's so cold, <laughs> you know, they ain't never waited. All right? They ain't never waited upon the Lord. But some of these men that came into this truth and was on the streets, now they back in the world, they lost patience. And the Lord is going to visit them, man. All right. So, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the next time. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. That we will, peace and blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. Till next time, Shalom, Ababa, Kwame, Allah,